News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking right now on News for Jax at 6, a jury has just recommended this man, Jonathan Quillis, face life in prison after he killed his niece five years ago. The jury's recommendation comes fewer than 90 minutes after they started deliberating. Yeah, ultimately, they decided that he should face a life sentence rather than the death penalty. Quillis sexually assaulted, impregnated, and then later killed his 16-year-old niece, Ayanna Sawyer, in 2018. News for Jack supporter Marilyn Parker has been following this trial since jury selection two weeks ago. She's joining us live outside the courthouse downtown. Yes, and even though the jury said that they feel the state did prove some of those aggravating factors, they feel the best recommendation is life without the chance of parole. And I'm thinking back to defense attorney Christine Michelle. She's told this jury during closing arguments today that they selected them because some of them did agree that even in the most heinous of crimes, they can consider life without parole over death. And that's an example of what happened here this afternoon. Now, that's not the only thing that the jury had to hear. There was some heart wrench heart wrenching, excuse me, victim impact statements earlier this morning. Take a listen. She was their beam of light, their princess. We knew she was destined for greatness. She was my best friend. Ayanna Sawyer meant so much to her family. They say she was the best big sister and big cousin. They cherished the 16 years with her, but their time ended in a way that tore the family apart. We called and texted her for weeks with no response. After a while, we received the news that no one wanted to hear. She was gone and never coming back. There will always be an image ingrained in my mind of my mother walking through the front door with bloodshot eyes. That was the night my brothers and I were informed of Ayana's passing. They described life at a standstill for almost five years not having the words, the sleepless nights, and pain of not being able to bury her. Sawyer's sister on the stand calling out the public criticism the family faced. Throughout the time Ayanna has been going, day by day, individuals have questioned my mother's parenting. It's very difficult as a teenager to see those who have only read about my mother's question how she raised my siblings and I. Might I add, my mother was and is still an exceptional mother. She says even at school, people would ask if her sister was the dead girl. All this family could do was be there for each other. How do we heal? How do we trust? How do we live given all that we've learned? Justice is just the beginning of our healing process. And some justice came with the conviction of the man who was once part of their family. The state tells the jury this is their time to hold him accountable by paying with his life. This process hasn't been easy for this family, but they stood strong for their daughter, niece, sister, and her unborn baby. The disappearance of my sister has caused me a great deal of mental instability. I just can't understand how someone who is loved and carrying life herself can be thrown away as if they were trash, as if they meant absolutely nothing to anyone. Ayana was loved. Hazel was loved. And so keep in mind, this family is still without their loved one, as you heard in those victim impact statements. Now, Thursday is when they will schedule a hearing for when Aquila's will be sentenced. That is set for Thursday at 1.30 to be exact. And also keep in mind that this is just a recommendation from the jury and the judge still has the final say. We're going to bring you more details coming up tonight on News for Jacks at 10 and 11. Reporting live from the Duval County Courthouse, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.